What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another modern laboratory here on Twitch or YouTube, wherever you happen to be watching said interactive content. I guess it's not, I don't know how interactive it is for you. It's not like a choose your own adventure or something. So this was a deck submitted by Sarah C, a classic longtime subscriber. And uh, she's like, hey, I have this deck. It's got all these legendary creatures in it. And uh, I just want you to turn it into a Sultai deck. And I was like, that's a great idea. Let's try that. So that's, that's what we're going to be doing today. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> okay. So, oh God. So we got Elk Tears in the chat trying to make me go big head Frank for 28 seconds. My only concern is that it's going to get in, in the way of this deck building. So my one issue Okay, you have you my my issue before we even get started. I'm gonna move this over here so you can see it. Because if I if I make it big over here, you actually can't see the text on it, which is really awkward. Untaidake, which not only do you not want to say multiple times in a draft or in a in a stream video you know, for people, uh, the only so you it's it comes into play tapped, <clears throat> which you never really want. Turn one, you don't want a land that comes in to play tap because you have nine creatures that you want to play. Turn two, you don't want to play tap because you have Thalia's, right? Um, <laughs> turn three, you don't want it to come and play tap because you want to play these things, right? So the only creatures, the only cards that this really helps you cast. <clears throat> and okay, so here's the other thing. It, it adds two colorless mana that you can only spend on legendary spells. Okay, well, these guys don't need any colorless mana. At all, right? These need one. So if you play this tapped and you take two damage, it's basically the same as just playing this for paying one mana for it, right? Like it could be any it could be any land. Same thing with Tajik. It only needs one colorless. Same thing with Gideon. They only need one colorless mana. So the only cards that you're actually casting <clears throat> with this and getting the benefit from are these nine cards. And I don't think that's good enough. I don't think that's good enough to have three legendary lands that come into play tapped. Um, that's my opinion. I'm not sure. It's definitely not Ancient Tomb. <clears throat> I mean, I, I guess you can go, like, turn two. No, you couldn't even do that. Like, turn three, maybe, like, you'd have this. No, because, like, you need the colored mana is the problem. I'm trying to figure out a situation where if, like, you had this and this and this and this, right? Like, on turn four. <clears throat> You have one, two, three, four, five mana, so maybe you can go like Tajik. And then like but you only have like two Thalias. So really six mana is the key. So it has to be like on turn five. I don't know. I just don't see it happening. You also have Mox Amber as well. And Aether Vial. Like there's a lot of like cards. Like so this is my big my other issue is that there there are eight cards here. This is basically a twenty six land deck, thanks to Mox Ambers. Um and a 26 land deck with four Aether Vials. So, like, there's going to be so many times where you just flood out, <clears throat> unfortunately. Um, so, I'm wondering what good legends we have in modern, in the white and red spheres, that we want better. Did you just take a poop while I was in the back? I never logged off at all today. I have not logged off once. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah, Planeswalkers are legends. I don't think there's any three-mana Planeswalkers, though. I could also see, like, playing... Like, if you were playing, like, the three-mana Chandra... No, even three-mana Chandra is double red. Oh, Nahiri does seem good. Uh, okay, so I'm actually gonna look up legendary permanence. This is what we had. This is this is what we do here. We're gonna look up legendary permanence and type line L E G N D R Y legendary creature planeswalker. <clears throat> 
I don't think I can actually have both of those things, right? Allow partial type matches. Okay, sure. Text. Uh, we're going to go black. We're going to go white. We're going to go including these colors. Converted mana costs. Eh, that's fine. Legal in modern. Let's see if that searches for what we want. So you're not going to do Mega Frank for trying to lamest three I've ever spent. I will do it. Don't worry. I will do it. This what is, is this is <laughs> my god. Oh, goodness, goodness gracious. There are only 122 legendary creatures in red and or... Oh, this is actually bringing... Okay, now hold on. That didn't do it. At most of these colors. And we'll just look up legendary things instead. Oh, actually I hit allow partial matches, so I don't think that works. No. Is legendary... Hmm. <clears throat> so we got 276 cards. That's a lot more. I don't want artifacts though. I don't care about that. Um. Okay. So how do I disallow that? I don't know how to do that. I don't know. This is. Whatever. All right, so I'm going to look down here. <clears throat> I'm looking for cheap creatures. I'm going to bring it over here so we can all we can all have a good time. This is what we're looking for. Do 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 do. A Johnny. I'm a big fan of a Chroma Angel of Fury because you can flip it with something like Flicker Wisp. A Chroma Angel of Wrath also very good, but not a creature we can realistically cast. Um. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> Bryon Stout Arm. Oh, Brimaz seems good. We want two drops, though, right? Like, we have a good amount of three drops already. Two drops is... I feel like two drops is the... But you can also go turn one guy, Mox Amber. Crack Shot is only... What does that even mean? What does that even mean? I feel like we just want, like, a Lyra or something in this deck. Lyra seems very, very good in, in, in Modern because Baneslayer Angel always did very, very well for me. It's just a hard to deal with creature. Aleshnorn is also a thing. How come there's no Elspeths in this deck? That's my question. Ishi Ishi crack shot? <laughs> come on, that's not a real card. Don't be don't just make up Kamigawa names. <clears throat> I don't like Gisela that much just because she dies to uh I don't know if you guys heard of the card Lightning Bolt. That is uh all right, we're coming close to Ishi Ishi. We're going to get to see what Ishi Ishi does in a second. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Next page. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Two mana. Whenever an opponent plays a spirit or an arcane spell. Good lord. That's garbage. I hate you guys. I was actually excited. I was like, oh, what about Carrie Zev? With eyes wide open. Wait, who's pro red? What's happening right now? Who's pro red? Giselle ain't pro red. Is that what you guys are talking about? For a flying first strike lifelink for a four three. That's not that ain't pro red. Are you insane? Are you insane? <clears throat> who? Who are you talking about? You have to tell me who you're talking about. Gisela Pro Red? No, neither of these are Pro Red. It's a ratted. Oh, by me. Just okay. No. All right. Now it's all coming together. Uh, I like Carrie Zev. <clears throat> I'm gonna put in at least one Carrie Zev. Hey, Carrie Zev. 
At least one. I'm gonna put in two. I don't. God, I'm so scared of the multiples in this deck, though. Uh, no, I want either vial. I'm gonna take out the. I'm taking these out. They gotta go. Hit the bricks. Um, I'm gonna add a cliff top. And this is 24 lands right now, basically. Yeah, get out of here. Good one. Good cliff top. I don't know if this is gonna. I'm gonna have to play this deck at least one time to to get a feel for it. My concern is that we only eh, we got a good amount of creatures, I guess. There's no real number that we want either vial on. All right, let's see how it goes though. I don't actually know, so we're gonna we're gonna just find out. I'll bring this up back over here. We also have a Karn. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah, we can keep this hand. Two Thalias is rough. But we have three, three, basically three mana sources. Yikes. I'm actually tempted to path this guy because our odds of playing a path after this is not... Path and Thalia is kind of a nombo. I feel like the paths maybe want to be lightning bolts. But next turn they just go pay two mana, kill a Thalia. Let's play this first so that we don't have to pay more. Yes, play Amber before Thalia is correct. This deck's hard. Yep, that's what we were afraid of, but that's okay. Another Monastery Swift Spear? A Gitu Lava Runner. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Another Thalia. So we have two cards in hand? Hmm. Actually, what if we put, like, Risk Factor in the deck? Because it lets us discard our excess... <clears throat> It lets us discard our excess, uh, what is this? Deals damage equal number of instant sorcery cards in your, oh my god. What on the earth? Well, nobody saw that coming. Aurelia. Another, another Thalia. Monothalia's dot deck over here. One, two, three. All right. <clears throat> what was I just suggesting? I totally blacked out. I don't know if Mox Amber is actually worth it. The problem is, like, you have to have... <laughs> Topical. How nice. How nice. Flame of Kelde. Okay. Okay. Risk factor. Risk factor is nice because... Uh, actually, are all of our creatures human? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. What do we got? Angel. Uh, human. 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 Orc warrior, human, hound. Okay, so but a few, uh, quite a few of them are. Wow, this is rough. <clears throat> I like this flame of Keldon discarding a fiery temper. That's pretty gas. So we have both have no cards. They have a two two, and they're going to draw two cards next turn. Give me something good to eat. Yeah, I'll take it. 
because it lets us discard our excess. I'm gonna finish my thought. Dang it! It lets us finish. Our, it lets us discard our excess legends. Like if we have two copies of Aurelia in hand, or you know what have you. Good lord. All right, so it's just a bunch of nerds here. As soon as I paid one more, and I'm like, you don't have anything left, buddy. Oh, no attacks, huh? Okay. Not super impressive, but all right. Okay, red spells deal two damage, right? So, from our player, yeah, so we're not gonna. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's rough. I guess we're blocking a Bomat Courier. They could play a card, attack with both Bomat Couriers, sack the one we blocked to draw another card. This is frustrating. I do like, I do like, uh, I do like Lyra in the deck. I wonder if we just wanna make it more angel centric, which are also like just focusing on the, le the legendary angels. My problem is this never helps you. This rarely helps you cast other legends unless you have other legends already. Yep, yeah, sack that guy. Oh, wizard's lightning. Good lord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's 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 exactly. All right. Let's see how many legends. Wouldn't looting better than the risk factor? Um. Maybe? I don't know. Don't care about you. You're you're neat. You're a neat neat boy. Don't care about that. Probably just want the Blessed Alliance. Sorry, when you built the, you said you built the deck around Amber, but like, did you play it with the Amber and you were getting good results? Because this is where you're like, no, I never actually played a single game. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, engineer explosives is pretty much insane. With the angel guy that brings us, you mean the you mean the guy that's literally in our sideboard right now? The bird cleric. There was one going around a few months ago. Link me to that if you can. I'd be curious to see that. Actually, I like wear tear in as well because they can count. We can kill a bomat courier and we can kill a um, a flame of kelp before it goes off. Probably want to take ruinous blast out here. Like, it's, it's rough because, like, we have to have a creature in play for this to be good. So, like, on turn one, it's not going to do anything. It'll never do anything on turn one. So, turn one, we play a guy. We could play a Mox Amber and then play another guy. However, it's going to make white. If we, go, if we go planes and then we tap the planes for a Hound and we play Mox Amber, we can only add white. So, we can't play Zergo, right? We'd have to play Kithian. So, we're very limited there. Um, if you play this and this on this, you play this on this turn one, and then you play this on turn two, you will have three mana, which is not bad. All right, we'll give that a shot. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, I like Lannery Storm a lot. Lannery Storm is great. Yep, they got Lyra's in there too. And lightning bolts. I like lightning bolts a lot better than paths because, like, it's not. It doesn't make sense to have thalias and paths because you're just ramping their mana, and then your thalias are only really hurting you. <clears throat> That's my initial assessment. All right, we got five seconds. All right, we'll take out a path. We'll take out two paths. I don't like pathing their guys. Oof, we did it. We did it. I think. I will play first. 
All right, so yeah, we'll keep this hand, but. I will play an Iganjo Castle. Iganja Castle. I'm still looking. I still have the, the link up so we can look at all the uh, all the white and red legendary perp, perps. Perps. Purples. Nobody knows what he's... What's he saying right now? Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea what he's saying. He's basically crazy. We're going to play this. Like, we have no incentive to play Mox Amber here. Oh, we could have played it to... Stupid! I'm so bad at this game! Eh, we could have made him indestructible if we just played the Mox Amber. See? This is what... Yeah, you're good. You're good. There you go. You messed me. You, you're... Actually, with this on the... They would have just... Actually, they would have responded with this on the stack. So, that's completely not true. I just got sad. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I forgot in my haste, thinking that I was so eager to call a misplay... If we played it last turn... No, if we played it last turn, again, they would have just lightning bolted before we untapped. So there's no, there was no real point where they wouldn't have been able to lightning bolt. So... Okay, we're good. I feel better about it. We put, we put Mox Amber on the stack, they lightning bolt. Okay. Ooh. Why am I hitting? Why am I drawing so many lands here? I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> Crack this, gonna get a sacred foundry. Hey, don't be a land. Uh, don't be a stupid land. It's going to be a four drop, and then we're going to look at this Mox Amber and cry. You ready? Doggy. Doggy. Oh, I guess I can actually go sort by casting cost, which might be infinitely easier. Can I do that? Cards as images sort by convert a mana cost. Perfect. That's going to be helpful. Because we really want the early guys. Oh, nor in the wary. That's a good one. That'll keep our Mox Amber online forever. Oh, God, that's brutal. That's like the worst thing I've ever seen. All right, here we go. No land. No whammies, no whammies, no... I has a sad. All right, we're just going to play Sacred Foundry here. Um, uh, pretty scared of Rampaging Frosted on here. Though they have one card in hand, so that's good. Yeah, this card is pretty strong and standard.
Okay, let's see what we got here. Legendary creature or planeswalker. There's not that many two drops, which is unfortunate. Kataki Wars Wage in the main deck's pretty gas, but uh, it's pretty contradictory to the Mox Amber. Um, okay, we'll block here. And this is where they go, like, well, Lightning Bolt in response. If they were going to Lightning Bolt in response, though, they'd probably just attack with this guy, too, right? Because then they get a, a dude. Alright, well, that was an interesting attack. Isamaru is the other reason I want to play this deck. Okay. No land. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three, four. Oh, and they're in top deck mode. This is actually very, very good. Uh, it gains plus two, plus O... Oh. And then gains Vigilance if it's white, so we can actually attack with this guy. They have no cards in hand. I almost want more Aurelius. I think Aurelius is probably a 4 of in this deck, because you want to go, like, turn 1 or 2 guy with a Mox Amber, and then turn 3 Aurelia. They said, ah, <laughs> I think you'll be okay. How much land is this they play? I think it's 20 lands, 4 mocks, 4 vile right now. I don't like, yeah, I don't like Urza's Ruinous Blast that much. I don't know if it's super necessary. I can't imagine double blocking being correct here. But maybe. Actually, we have Igonjo, so I'm going to say yes. Getting this dude off the board seems pretty crucial. And if they have deal three to this guy, it's only six. This this lady, it's only six. That's way too much for the speed to be fair cut. Eight lands or four in the moxes. And, but the problem is mox amber by itself doesn't... Yeah, that's fine. So she takes four. Yeah, this is pretty gas. <laughs> oh boy oh boy um I want to pump her actually so that she can mentor onto my little buddy little buddy do 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 this is how we do Yeah, Mox Amber's awkward. Like, it costs zero, so it's kind of like, look at me, I cost zero. And then you're like, yeah, but you don't do anything. And you're like, well, I do if I have friends. All right, so we got Bird Illusion token. And Camaraderie. That's sad. That is a sad little rare. What are these uncommons we got here? League Guild Mage, Price of Fame, and a Demir Spy Bug. Pretty decent. Dece Commons, as uh, as they say. Igonjo Castle actually putting in some serious work against the Mono Red deck. I'm just going to kill this guy now. Okay, well, that's <laughs> a fine choice. Before they actually get their card, I'll kill that idiot. Do, do, do. I don't think we want anything else, really. You're on pretty late? You're on pretty late. Got him. 
God, what's it like getting wrecked so hard, Matthew? Or? Oof. Brutal. 10 to 12 hours in the Thronebreaker? Man, that's a good amount of time, buddy. I will keep this hand. I will put this on top, actually. I'm good with that. I'm good with it. Bowman Courier? Oh, God, we're so good. I'm pretty sure it costs two to kill the Bowman Courier, though, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I thought. Add blue for baby Jace and other good stuff like opt. Uh, I don't like opt at all. I don't know why we'd why would, I don't know why we'd opt for opt, but I'd much rather have like serum visions or something. But Vantage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Delalia. I'm one hundred percent opposed to adding blue because it puts us one third of the way to salt eye. <laughs> That's fair. I will not add blue. This is a blue this is a red white deck through and through. True and true, it is. And offense is any good here. I feel like Anafenza could be good. Like two copies of Anafenza or two copies of eight and a half tails or something. What about Blackblade Reforged? That seems pretty nuts, right? Maybe? Like one copy of Blackblade Reforged? I was literally looking at Bushi Tenderfoot and I'm like, no. Nah. Or Alicia, who smiles at death? We can just return guys like Thalia's or Zeri carries Zeri Kev's. Like I feel like having a couple of those guys are pretty good in here. Just play all my favorite commander cards. Deal. They had to spend two for Faithless Looting and then they discarded two spells and didn't hit a land. I think we're gonna uh, win this game. five cards I'm kind of just tempted to kill this thing they really want to pay three for it I don't know yeah I think the answer is yes hmm because their hand is obviously pretty rough I would imagine long time viewer first time in the chat I've been in love with you since, since I saw you play Sultai Control and returned around to standard fellow Sultai fan you're, you're kind of good thank you so much really appreciate it Pimp! What up, pimps? That's a little H3H3 H3 meme there. I don't know if you guys knew. Got another pack coming. Got a little pack coming. Alright, you got it. Elf Knight. Guildgate. Oh, foil. Oh, I'm gonna I'm a foil citywide bust. Well, that's pretty nice. That's a juicy... And followed by a, a Night of Autumn. That's a solid playable. Foil Citywide Bust. That's a good one. And then we have these three bad boys. Crackling Drake, Might of the Masses, and a Conclave. A Guild Maggio. Not to be confused, the Guild Gate. Guild, Guild, Guild Ma Maggio. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to stop. Sometimes it just, just hurts too bad. I'm just going to play two guys, and then we'll play Tajik next turn. We're at a point where... That fold is weird on the green screen. What is it? This one right here? Look, I can move the fold. Okay, I, I feel like we got a good feel for this deck, even though I think we actually won this match, which is nice.
Rampaging Ferocy McMosey. This is actually, this is a good draw. Oh, the foil is so weird with the green screen. I thought you meant on the green screen itself. Okay. I have to leave. Guess my big head dreams aren't coming true. <laughs> In case he does do it, someone please clip it and whisper it to me or post it on my Facebook. Uh, so you're going to take an extra one, but we'll also take an extra one. Or I can leave you back. I might to leave you back because... Uh, if we play you tomorrow, we can double block here and you only get to eat one of them, which is fine. No, I see. Just taking a taking a sixer, as they say. OBS or whatever you use, it's OBS. All right, you got a little... God, they're taking so much of their own damage. Oh, we can give Tajik first strike now? Come on, come on. Don't do that. So... Three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> I don't think we're close to death, and we're also going to take some guys with us here. I guess we're giving Ragavan the bump. Not Ragavan, <laughs> he's tomorrow. I got the wrong pet. Sure, this is fine. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You gotta block something else. Block something else. Three, three, round two, one solves it. And you take three, four, five, six, seven. You go to two, two, and then you lose the guy. So then we take three, four, five, and then we're at fifteen. It's pretty safe. Famous last words. Uh, that that creature has Manasio. Okay, you figured it out. I guess it doesn't matter who who gets hit first. First strike. Yeah, this is the J.J. Abrams of magic. Look at that lens flare. Oh, they just, they're like, oh, first strike? Well, forget it then. I'm out. All right. So, eight. Do I have any eight and a half tails? I doubt it. Wow, I do. I have three eight and a half tails. What a time to be alive. Um, I don't actually like Thalia that much. Eh, she's really good, though. I'm gonna bring take these out. Take these heaths out. Two eight and a half tails. What was the other card? Enfenza. All right, two of those. I don't. I don't care about Mox either. Vile either. I think it's just two. I'm gonna take the lightning bolt. Take the pick, take the pass out. Put lightning bolts in. If we even want lightning bolts, I think we want three bolts. Get these old bolts in here. She'll matter in the spell-based matchup. I like a one Alesha. 
Especially because you just added a bunch of creatures to get back with the Lesha. So I'm going to bring one in the Lesha. I'm going to take out one of these. I also think we want a Lyra. At least one Lyra. It's nice because you can just put a bunch of one ofs in the deck and actually... Uh, it's fine because they're legendary, so... I, I'm going to be honest with you. I hate this Gideon. I don't think he's very good. Oh, Tybalt is only two mana. Can we cut AOZ? What's AOZ? R really? This is the good one. I would rather get rid of this one. How dare you? What about Brimaz? Brimaz is a really good three drop. I'd rather have Brimaz than Gideon, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. PNLR is also good. I like Tajik because it, it does really, it, it's got a really good interaction with all of these creatures. I'm going to take out these. And I am going to add Brimmies. Big Brims. Chipotle is a good choice. I approve. Chat tested. Frank approved. Uh, getting the trials of survive combo decks. Like, uh, how do you how? Um, yeah. I mean, they can just play around that pretty easily. Can we test looting over vile? Yeah, definitely. I can do that now. I'm not a big vile fan. I'll be honest with you. I I hate I hate the saying. I'll be honest with you. It's such a stupid saying. I think I like two lootings in here. I don't think we need more than that. It's just something that you can discard some extra guys, and you get mul multiples. Tajik mentoring Lil Thalia. Chef's kiss. <laughs> also, these four mana Johnnies are gas. Uh, I like a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants a lot. I also like a Johnny Vengeant a lot. I don't think I have any Adversary of Tyrants, though. Dang it. Might have to pick some up. I think the saying is fine. Sometimes I could be telling me. Right, but if, like... I don't think that's how people use it, though. They just kind of use this, like... I'm gonna be honest. I'm trying to figure out, like... Hold on, I'm just gonna open a pack in the meantime. All right, you guys ready? It's gonna be a Planeswalker. Wow, it was a Planeswalker! How the hell did I do that? You're a wizard, Hattie. <laughs> Holy shit, that was weird. And then we got a Demir Spy Bug, a Circuitous Route, and a Rock Charger. Wow. It's going to be a Planeswalker, and it's a Braska. What in the earth, man? That was awkward. I'm uncomfortable, man. Oh, I see we're still in a simulation. Correct. Correct. Much to my benefit, apparently. Okay, so one of the things, Adversary of Tyrants is one that I like at four, and also, um, was there another one? What did Sarah mention? Sarah mentioned, oh, Chandra at Torch of Defiance is also good. What if we have just a bunch of one ofs at four? We can have one Torch of Defiance, one Elspeth, uh, one Aurelia, one Gideon. I like Aurelia a lot, though. God, there's a million four drops, dude. Four drops is like the sweet spot. Shalai. I don't like Shalai as much just because um, we can't activate her. and I'm, I'm kind of a stickler for that. I don't know why. Man, that, that, that Vraska was a sick rip. <gasps> oh, I just, I just got real excited about Traxos. What if we put Traxos in the deck? Oh, I actually, I actually was, a, I'm a big fan of adding more, really. I think it really is fantastic in this deck. She mentors onto everything, and she's just pretty hard to deal with. I 
my problem with the Traxos is that it tur you're turning on like they're, they're like smashed to smithereens and stuff. And we already have Mox Amber, which does that, but I don't know. Us, us tapping out to play a Traxos just to get it killed by a, a smash is pretty rough. I still don't think Board the Weatherlight. So I really want Board the Weatherlight to be good, and this seems like the only deck it might be good in. So let's not get it confused. This doesn't seem like a deck it would be good in. This seems like a deck it would actually do what the card says in, which is search for a thing and put it into your hand. <laughs> I don't think that makes it good per se. I think that just literally does what it's supposed to do in this deck. As long as your devotion to red and white is is less than seven, creature control menace, parental damage to be able to attack creature. What about one Iroas? That's an interesting choice. Do I have an Iroas? I don't like Iroas because it might not do anything. Seven is a lot of. Seven is a lot of uh, devotion. Hey, hey, it functions. Neat. <laughs> hey, this card did what it says on it. Cool. I also like Igonjo Castle a lot. This is 22 lands. Is that too few? Hmm. A Johnny gets back a bunch of unique stuff, if we have it. I think we can take out one Zergo. I'm not a big Zergo fan. And we already have six, six one drops. So we got eight one drops total. That's I think that's plenty. All right. I'm still looking. I'm still looking, guys. I'm still looking. Bear with me. Bear with me. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I apologize that it's taking a while. There's a lot of things to consider. This is a a deck of the ages. Too much to be 20. But don't forget, these don't count if you don't have like a one drop or a two drop. Uh, I like Lightning Helix. I don't think we need it though, is the problem. I'm going to actually grab one more Aurelia. Three Aurelias. Aurelia seems like... Mentoring onto your creatures with Tajik and Aurelia seems like one of the central... Um, one of the central strategies that you want to really be exploiting. Because you have a ton of creatures like 1-3s and 2-2s two that aren't super impressive on their own. But... If you can mentor onto them... It seems really a good uh, chef's kiss. Four. I'm going to borrow this for now. Okay, I can't take I can't take your items. Make me return your items. I can't. I can't do it now. Oh god. Oh. Arg, I think it worked. I think it worked at the end and then it was too late. All right. Vexing Devil is not legendary. <laughs> it's not a burn deck. Even if I roast doesn't have a creature, you know, all your creatures menace and allowing them to survive combat is quite... I agree. That's actually true. That's a good point. Maybe we do one, one Aurelia, one Ar 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 Iroas. Do we like Norn the Wary? No. No, we do not. Nor in the Wary is only a two-card combo with Mox Amber. It's the literally only thing it does. Okay. So. Uh, add one more to the deck. Two slots? I like two slots here. Okay. Uh, I am tempted to add one more land just because I don't want to have to rely on Mox Ambers. And we do have... I guess if we hit any Mox Amber, we only need two lands for it to function as intended. The other option I have is a Pelt Collector deck with Pongify and Vexing Devil to such. So basically, all of your decks are just Saffron Olive decks. Good to hear it. <clears throat> I like a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Maybe like one P and LR? Nah, I don't like that. Nah, I don't like that. I also have Jund. Jund, if you're going to play in a serious turn, I think Jund is the way you want to go. Oh, what about one Captain Lannery Storm? Okay. 
Come on, Jund always has room for fun ofs. Uh, the problem with Iroist is that it only happens. Yeah, let's let's just try it with the Iroist. I'm gonna take this out. Um, I think we definitely want Kataki in the sideboard. Like Kataki is an amazing legendary that just gives you infinite value against the. Uh, I don't think we want Hokori. Like I don't know what Hokori is doing for us. I mean, he's legendary. That's cool. I guess that's the end. All right, let's try it like this. Are we missing something? Why can't we? Oh, we get a free card. Sick. Oh, um, I'm just tempted to put a Cavern of Souls because we have a lot of humans. I don't know if we need one though. We just have another Lyra. Lyra's real strong. There's no other one drop legendary creatures that we care about, right? Need some arrow, hope of gear per Kithian, and that's pretty much it. Bushy Tenderfoot. Cavern of Souls name legend. Solid I like it. Solid strategy. Solid strategy. This is actually complicated. I'm having a tough time finding these, filling these slots. I guess we could put a third Faithless leading in the deck. I don't love it though. Ah, no, get over here. I want to add one more of you. Do I not? Do I have one Alesha? Well, that's awkward. I probably just want to put another Alesha in here. Actually, we'll just put a fourth Lightning Bolt for now. I think that's good. Come on, we can do it. Playing against the boys. It's the boys. God, we always get Mox Amber, Mox Amber, and uh, and a one mana guy. Do we keep this hand? I'll keep this hand. I was actually thinking of a Black Blade Reforged. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. so uncomfortable with that uh... so the problem with like things with Sword of Fire and Ice and about Mentor of the Meek is that you're never going to have time to really activate them in modern like those are really grindy mechanics uh, and abilities that like you want a lot of turns to really go off with those cards and you just don't have those kind of you don't have that kind of time in modern oh they kept a one lander Huh. Well, I'll be. Yeah, I can see one Archangel Avison. I kind of like that. Okay. Got a little Powie plant. Let's thin this deck of our 18 lands. So 18 lands in the next. We've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've seen eight of 18 lands so far. Yeah, you're not the strongest. You're not the strongest of your guys.
Okay, I think they're almost dead, though, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Turn one, good boy. <laughs> Easy, we have a good time. I see. This is how you want to be? Alright. I want to burn your face because this doesn't actually do anything in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Nine out of 18 lands. That is friggin' incredible. I never more from Marvel Guy, but have you ever read Superman Red Sun? Yeah, Red Sun's amazing. That's an Elseworlds story, though, so that doesn't really count as DC. That's like not like. Well, I mean, it's DC, but it's not like DC continuity, so. Yeah, Red Sun's fantastic. Oh, you had a little Ernest's mind the whole time. Oh, isn't that special? Oh, God. Mother of God. I see. Did we add a Nahiri? No, because Nahiri's not great. Sure. I mean, we can actually go face and then hope to hit, like, three, three remaining lightning bolts. Tajik, one time. Tajik and the lightning bolt. We got some... We got runners. I'm going to open a pack again, and it's not going to be uh, Planeswalker this time. I hope I'm that was a sparring advantage. That was a 10th land. There are 8 lands left in our deck. In our 46 card deck, there are only 8 lands. I'm going to scoop now because I don't feel confident when they get to untap with both of these up. It doesn't feel good. Okay, we got a soldier token. A guild gate. Let's go. Du Bois won. A legion. A light of the legion. It's not that exciting. But what can you do? And then we have Legion Guild Mage and an inescapable blase and an invert invent. Okay, so we're bringing in this guy. Take out Lightning Bolt number one. We'll take out. I don't like Zergle Bill Striker at all. I think he's kind of a dirt burgle. Uh, Kataki actually seems insane. I don't, I'm gonna take these out for now. Bring them back slowly. Yeah, if I could have Light of Legion, Inescapable Blaze, and uh, Legion Guild Mage, I'd be okay with those. <laughs> Keep. We need to hit a land here. It's not looking good. However, if we hit a land, we're in good shape because we get to play a Kataki. M O R. What does that mean? There's a blend. Have a good night, buddy. What are you saying, Zichi? Land off the top. Never lucky. Mother of Runes? <laughs> Mother of Runes is not modern legal, unfortunately. That would be absolutely disgusting. Oh. We both missed land drops, but then I didn't miss a land drop. What 
What about Wrist the Redeemed? Hmm. Is that just a one one for one that makes dudes? I th the problem is that we're never going to be able to activate Riss. What about Figure of Destiny? That's not legendary. That doesn't work. Even try to fool you. So this prevented them from getting green, which is pretty strong, unless they just go turn three Tron. Here comes a damping sphere off the top, which is awkward because we have a Kataki, but that's life. Oh, that was a good draw. I wonder if we just want the Thalia so that like their next land doesn't come into play tapped. I think we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see I feel like Iros is gonna be a little hard to trigger. So this puts them to 15, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Puts them to 6 with a Lightning Bolt in hand. Surprisingly not dead. What's happening right now? Oh, they're meant to play this for one, but they did not use the mana for it. Well, that's a thing. And they conceded. And shame scoop incoming. All right. Uh, maybe we do want more aggressive guys. I'll bring in an amber. Bring in a, this guy. We'll take out this guy. We'll take out the arrows. This guy's just worse than Isamar, right? Well, the difference is that we don't want, if we don't want to draw two of these, we would rather have one of these and one of the others. So they were shamed. They were playing Tron. I have no sympathy for you, Tron player. Hmm. <laughs> yes. This hand seems great. I will keep this all day. Turn to Isamaro into Damping Sphere seems good, or Kataki Wars Wage to the surprise of no one. They did go to six and they put one on the bottom. All right. Gonna open this pack. Uh, Sublime Archangel is not legendary, so negative. Soldier token, Celestia Guildgate, and Littering, and Watery Grave. Not bad. Not bad. You're not gonna not gonna focus? Okay. Let's see what your let's see what your game is. For our uncommons, we have a True Fire Plague Crafter and a Swath Cutter Giant. One of those is constructed playable. The others are not are not okay ancient stirrings no another one okay mm. this is not the one that you draw a card from if it goes to the graveyard so we're actually going to play kataki wars wage here especially because they only have one tron land It's worse with our Damping Sphere, but they don't have enough Tron lands and they have to sacrifice this. If they want to sacrifice it by using it during their upkeep, that doesn't really do much either, so. You know who's legendary? Ulamog.
hey, what's Kataki's art? Nobody knows. <laughs> oh my god. What sound would Kataki make in Arena? I don't know. I can't see the art right now. It's probably like... That's what I would... I, that, that would be my guess. I'm not sure why he would make that noise. But... You know, I don't know how spirits work, you know? It's complicated. It's, uh, it's a whole thing. Could you be love? They have two towers. That's not scary at all. Despite that... Um, despite the Lord of the Rings reference, that is not scary. What did they get with this? A power plante. Okay, so what we're going to do is go Alicia. And then if they want to go power plant, we'll go damping sphere. I was just using the meme. Yeah, I think you could still use the meme by using the, uh, I think you could still say she's not wrong, you know. I think that still counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can actually go. We can actually emblem and, emblem and ten them. Uh, I don't think we're going to do that, though. I think we're going to damping sphere because we don't want them to untap and then Ugin or whatever. So we're just going to deal them a good old-fashioned seven, which is still a two-turn clock. Just so you know. Then we're going to hope they don't have nature's claim. Because that would be sad. I would cry. I would just cry my eyes out, don't you know? I can't see a reason to play play the the oh they do have it wow that's amazing you didn't see anything for this why would you have that it doesn't even make any sense all right here we go Oh, I got all my Tron lands. I got my Oblivion Stone now because I never don't have it, don't you know? I guess if we did, we did three more damage here. They put them at four, so Lightning Bolt's one off lethal. That's pretty good. I mean, I guess if they blow this up, though, like, it's whatever. Shoot you in the brain. In response, a lightning in response, crack oblivion stone. Sure. We took out the five drops, so we actually don't need Inspiring Vantage for anything, so I'm just going to keep it in case we want a Faithless Looting into a... You know. That's amazing. I'm really impressed that I was able to... Oh, this is cool. You just get to kill this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you make 6. You can go 4 and 2. That's really nice. That's good. You're very good. Very good at this game. Well, see if I can put you to 2. See how greedy you are.
Thanks for, I'm not sticking with Moto. I just did an arena draft earlier. <laughs> I think you could follow it if you just gave it a chance. It's really not that complicated. It's just a matter of people not wanting to change. Yeah, this is fine. What if there's two lightning bolts in here? It'd be such gas, right? Or definitely not two lightning bolts. Uh, get rid of you, get rid of you. Kithian. And Thalia. What are your thoughts on the middle school format that Eternal Central? I have no idea what that even is, Chris. Here comes Ancient Stirrings. I don't have any more threats, so I have to find one with my little Ancient Stirrings. I'll just get an Ugin and wipe your board here. Okay, that's not impressive. Okay, so one of your cards is a sphere. But you're dead on board. Middle school rules. <laughs> okay, four. Four mana. So that's one of it. Alright, so now you have one card in hand, but you got two potential draws. Three, four, five. You have seven mana total. Okay. Okay. Middle school decks make consist cards from 95 to 2003. Oh, that's interesting. Yikes. Oh, so no dual lands or no power. That's interesting. 100 nice beard bits. I approve. I approve. Mana burn exists. Damage uses the stack. Wishes can pull from exile. Oh, are they dead? Oh, what did they gain four? They nature's claimed their own thing. Uh, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm game. They just use the nature's claim on their own chromatic star, I guess. And then we get to untap and play dampening sphere, and they probably don't have a third nature's claim for this, so that's pretty nice. It's uh one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, six man. That's uh pretty good. Chef's kiss. So they they can play a worm coil. That's just gonna be worm coil, and we're just gonna be like, okay, can't deal with it. It's the slowest worm coil I've ever seen. Spatial contortion on Thalia. My god. Why did they cost four, though? Are they overpaid, maybe? Well. Alright. They're going to hit a worm coil. Oh, hers is mine. Okay. That's just a basic land, as far as I'm concerned. creature oh that's a good one that's nice because with if thalia was still on board we actually couldn't cast this oh that's pretty cool all righty then and that's how you beat the tron deck ladies and gentlemen <laughs> killing it with this deck i want to take the argos out i think it's actually kind of just too cute i do think lyra's probably okay i don't actually like tashar like, I don't want to go four mana guy, four mana this in modern, and then have to get, like, another card after that in order to get anything back. I'm going to cut that. Which means you get one more card in the sideboard. I pro we, we do want life gain. I'm tempted to take out the... What is this for? What is the Blessed Alliance for? Just to gain, is it just to gain life? Because I'm actually tempted to just add, like, three shield mares. Which are not legendary, but... But are very good. Those are some good good ponies. Solid ponies. Okay, that's not how you spell shield. So my apologies. Got him. Boop, boop, boop. Or Oriok Champion. Actually I like Oriok Champion better, I think. Yeah, let's go Oriok Oriok Champions. 
I don't have Oriac Champions. I'm the worst at this game. Is there what's the what's the go to life gain card in uh, in modern right now? Is it Oriac Champion? Why do I spell so poorly in this chat? Is Hazarest good enough? Yeah, maybe. Uh, Finx is okay. I'm definitely a bigger Oriok Champion fan, though. I think Oriok Champion's like three tickets now. Five tickets. Mother of God. Pretty sure Healing Solve and Sacred Nectar aren't, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, so add three to the side, Bizzle. All right, now we get two more slots again. Again. Do we not have... What's up? Why don't we have a Shinka? I mean, first strike is first strike, right? It's got to be better than a... Than nothing, right? It's got to be better than... Maybe we'll just play 19 lands. Because this is still only 23 mana sources, and we have a lot of higher-end stuff. Oh, the Blessed's were for Hexproof, maybe. Maybe. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Could you be love? Why do I have... <coughs> blah, 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 blah. Ugh. Okay, so what are we adding? We need... We have one more freebie now. I just like Blessed Alliance. All right, well then. Yeah, I'm not too worried about, like, Boggles. Um, I actually kind of want a Johnny adversary because being able to get, like, a Thalia or an Anafenza or a... Yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna get into Johnny. So much trading. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh, dang it! I left. I left it. What did dream What did dream eaters go for IRL? Because I opened one, and now I'm curious. I'm gonna look right now. Oh, uh, seven seven bones. Okay. Water graves are like ten. Steam vents are like ten. Wow. So we opened dream eater. We open a Vraska, a Dream Eater. Vraska is like 13. A Steam Vents, which is like 10. Water Grave, which is like 10. Dream Eater, which is like 7. So Vraska and Dream Eater are like 20. Steam Vents, Water Grave are like 40. Temple Garden is 6, so that's 46. I don't think Knight of Autumn is actually worth much. That's like 5. 51. And a Sacred Foundry. We got a Sacred Foundry too. Which is nine, so that's sixty. And a Trostani? Is that anything? No? Probably not. It's like four bucks. So so far, we're not even halfway through this box, and we got about sixty bucks in value. That's not bad. This has been a good box so far. Let's borrow. Did we add we added two Brimazes, two two Brim two Brimazes, two Brimizios. I can keep going. I'm gonna get two Ajani's because I'm not sure. I like both of these. Adding adding plus one plus one counters on our creatures is pretty strong, especially because we have mentor creatures. So maybe I like. I actually like two Ajani's here. Take out one of the lightning bolts. Let's try it like this. Oh, Jeff Lebowski, the dude. We're playing against the dude. That's just like my opinion, man. Jeffrey Lebowski, the Lebowski. I'm the dude. 
Or, you know, his royal dudeness or El Dude Arena if you're not into that whole brevity thing. Jordan Ahsoka, otherwise known as. Wait, hold on. Jordan, did you spell your name? Did you spell your Twitch name based on the the misspelling of the SCG name? Because that's hilarious, and I just realized that. I was like, wait a minute, that's not how you spell your name. <laughs> that's fucking, that's gas, dude. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, a goblin token. That's a fancy boy. What are we playing with this forest? I'm excited. And this guy. Oh, what's a rare? Oh, it's a Demir Guildgate. I got so excited. I thought it was a foil watery grave. Nope, just a foil Demir Guildgate. And the rare? Unmoored Ego. What's going on, Jordan? Always a pleasure, buddy. I like it when you just show up. I like it. We, we are nihilists in the Blabowski. We believe in nothing. And, oh, Golgari Finebroker. That's one of, that's one of your boys. It's your boy. Oh my god, I love the amount of Seattle Seattle bros I have in this chat right now. It is gas. I don't like how much my lightning bolts cost now that I have this Thalia in play. We got a Nifty Chris, a Ben, and a Jordan in the chat. This is good stuff. This is like a Seattle family reunion. I'm from right outside Seattle. It's a place called Philadelphia. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's basically right there. <clears throat> I don't like how your green screen is creating a rift. I know. I, I keep meaning to move it, but it's really... There we go. I think we did it. No, we barely didn't. It's actually, like, worse now. Now there's, like, a big pocket... I think it's everything's changed. I need to get one of those sticks and just move it. Oh, it's so much worse now. Whatever. One Seattle book. <laughs> oh, wistful Selkie, eh? I see. I see what your game is now. I guess we're just going to get... I can't see a reason not to just get a mountain here. I'm actually attacking with both. I don't... If you want to block here, that's fine, because you're so dependent on your... on your devotion. I don't think you're going to block here. I don't think so, buddy. Is Seattle close to Kent? Yeah, Kent's about 20 minutes outside Seattle, uh, in case you were curious. You know, Kent, Washington, you ever heard of it? It's kind of a big deal. It ain't no 45 minutes away. Don't lie. It never took me 45 minutes to get to Seattle. You're crazy, you friggin' maniac. Spoken like someone who's never lived in Kent before. <laughs> Unbelievable. What kind of magical highway? The good one. It's definitely, okay, so maybe, yeah, I mean, I was in, like, I, I was probably in, like, North Kent. I think I was literally on, like, I, we were, like, right next to Renton. So, it took, like, 10, 15 minutes to get to Renton for, like, it was not a long drive. It was definitely not, no, it was not 30 minutes to get to Renton. Specifically, places like Shane's. So, can I sub mid-month since my last, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. Ren, Ren, Ren. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Thank you. Snarky Cyril, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. We have a good time. So what do you got? Three mana? 
We got a lot of pressure here. Are they going to play another Selkie? Are these Selkies going to be so wistful? These are the most wistful Selkies you have ever seen. The wist is so real right now. Oh, a Corsair of Crufix coming into play. Tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can put you to six, and then we have double lightning bolts, which is pretty strong. Triple lightning bolts. Woo. Unfortunately, we can only cast one per turn. However, I feel like you might block here. Which puts you off some some serious some serious devotion. I can cast one of them. You don't know. And me, why do I have God, why do I have, um... Why do I have Bob Marley stuck in my head? So we know they drew a forest. Does anyone else the legend rule? <laughs> Emerson Klein, I think you just totally forgot uh, your sentence there. Where'd you get that, Heath? Alright, so you got uh, Foothills coming. How much mana can you make? You make three with this, so you break even, so you basically only have four. Okay. Okay. Sorry, does anyone else hate the Legend Rule? What do you... So, what... I actually think the Legend Rule is great. I think this is the... I, the Legend Rule, all the time. <laughs> okay. I actually think this is the best iteration of the Legend Rule because it doesn't lead to feel-bads. Uh, but it still represents what you want from the Legend Rule, which is, like, play one dude. And uh, you can't have more copies because that doesn't make any sense. Um, oh, a Vraska emblem. How fitting. And a Golgari Guildgate, like you do. I don't know why I showed you that. It doesn't even matter. And an Experimental Frenzy. Not bad. Not bad. And then we got three of these bad boys. Sinister Sabotage, Sun Home Stalwart, and a Rock Charger, in case those are of interest to you guys. I don't know why they would be. You know what they do? Pokemoony, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Great beard, not sure about the content, though. That's a solid meme. I'm a fan. Oh, we're definitely going to shoot your face here. And then if we hit a land, you basically die. We did not hit a land. So, one, two, three, four, five. Primal Command is rough. So they just block here, right? We're just we just have to attack with this. We really need to land this turn or a or a mox. Cause the Aurelia would have been pushing it. If they block, they lose this guy. If they don't, they're dead. I think they don't block here. Like this just doesn't make sense as a block, right? Our record right now is surprisingly 2-0. Are you just over there cracking packs? Yeah, I have a box that was shipped to me by Brian Blevins, courtesy of the Game Store. Super awesome, dude. If you guys are in uh, Arkansas, you should definitely check out the Game Store. And, um... So I'm just cracking these packs in the meantime. Because I've done, like, 40 Ravnica drafts, so I don't really need to save them. Yep, didn't think you'd block here. That's unfortunate. I was hoping you would. Oh, a garrison sergeant in a little foil. A little, that guy's uh, that guy's real. 
followed by a little hatchery spider, like you do. And then we got Flight of the Equinauts, Chemister's Insight, and a crippling sea dew? <laughs> Sun dew? Crippling sea dew. Don't go on to that. Don't go in the water on that guy. It's really funny that this one Thalia is keeping us from killing them. So they're going to gain seven. This puts us real far out of reach, unfortunately. Oh, wait. No. Wait, they go one, two, activate this for five. Yeah, they don't have to crack this. Arg. <sighs> maybe they will in res maybe they will anyway. Sprawl. They're, I mean they, they just play land first, go to five, so they're out of reach, and then they crack it, and then Yeah. That's pretty good. God, I feel like we just... I feel like we were so close. I don't think Bolting the Dude does anything. Like, I'd rather just have the six mana here. Or the, the six damage here. It gives them three extra mana, but I don't think it makes a difference at this juncture. I actually think the damage is... Oh, they actually have to pay six for the... Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Plus, if we bolt the Selkie, we can't bolt them in response. And there were a lot of uh, situations where they go, they're go they they're at four and they crack the land to go to three. So, I mean, I think it was a gamble, but... Yeah, I don't think that was a punt, but I guess you do. I was playing a green-white Hapers deck in my local game store versus the red-black hollow one deck game. Two turn one, he plays Burning Aquarius. I discard a Willy Fleece and two Ops and a Good lord. Yikes. Uh, that's fine. I feel like you won that game. Got a second Nick, those. Okay. So they have eight mana. They're gonna play six of it. You're gonna need six of it. I guess they're not. They're probably not gonna. They're not gonna float two here. They're gonna go to twelve though, which is obnoxious. Yep. Yeah, that's annoying. So I think they're pretty much done here. They can't really do anything with one mana. Yeah. Being at 12 here is pretty much worse than being at, like, 4. If we attacked with this, they would have blocked here. We could have lightning bolted. They would have had 2 less mana this turn, but as we've seen, like, they were able to do the most important part, which is Primal Command with 2 less mana, so... That was the only thing we were concerned about, because the gaining 7 was huge. But now they have, like, Eternal Witness Primal Command loop, which is super obnoxious. There's not really anything we can draw here, either. It's just the unfortunate part. Like, they just go block here, take two, go to ten, and it's just like, we're so far out of reach. Yeah, we're gonna go to the next game. Like, we just don't have this game... 
we would have needed to draw a mana source uh, signif- a few turns earlier to really make a difference. What does it say? If a land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces... Actually, that seems great here. Don't care about you guys. Don't really care about wear tear. Rest in peace. Thank you. No, was a drunk. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Take you out. Lightning bolts are good. Nerd, take my sub. I'm taking it. Don't you tell me what to do with your sub. You're not my sub daddy. Seems weird. Why would he say that? I don't know. Everything's very strange here. So maybe I want Thalia's? We're on the play? Yeah, that seems fine. Corsair is an enchantment? I don't know if that does it, though. So is Utopia Sprawl, but I don't know if that's good enough. Scuba da ba da 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 This is what it's this is what it sounds like to have Bob Marley stuck in your head for a million years. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're gonna. Try- <laughs> that's, that's what it sounds like when you open your own video in a in a browser while you're streaming. Oh man, this hand would be so good with one more land. Come on, come on. Don't do me. This is actually a great hand. Turn two Thalia. I'm game. I was literally waiting for you to, to use that quote, Noah. That's actually pretty funny. I was waiting for the let's see how you smash with no hands. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, they kept it. I'll keep it. We get the scry, too. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. We're doing, we're doing all the things here. Puppy dogs. Thalia seems very good against their against their things. Don't play a thing. Just stop it. That's actually fine. No creature means we guarantee get in there for five, which is powerful. That is a powerful wizard. I'm actually going to get... Eh, we'll just get a Sacred Foundry. I, I don't really care about the life in this matchup. Got him. Like you do. Like you do. What did they hit? Did they hit? They just hit a forest? I'll assume that's gone. Oh, lightning bolt. You don't have no lightning bolts. Don't even don't even play me. Look how aggressive we are. 
All of our creatures have first strike. Do you know that? I kind of just want to play eight and a half tails here because I want to play Gideon if we hit a land. Target spell opponent becomes white until end of turn. Does that do anything? Not really. They only have three lands, which is pretty good for us, but the unfortunate thing is if we if we draw a land, we can't play Gideon. We still can't play Gideon. If we draw a, a spell that costs four, we definitely can't play that. Oh boy, that's nice. Kind of. So we can actually shoot you, attack for three, four, five, six, seven. Or we could trade here. We can also make this. No, we can't. We don't have eight and a half tails down yet. Thalia is actually messing up our our things a lot. I'm not a fan of that, but it's also with Thalia, and we probably actually want to just kill this anyway. So. Hey, Modern, my name is Robert. Hey, Modern, my name is Robert. That was a that was a jam I wrote. This Diva's old deck? I don't know who Diva... Who the hell's Diva? <laughs> Nobody knows who you're talking about, man. You friggin' hipster. Is this Diva's old... Who's Diva? Was that an autocorrect? The streamer holy diva oh oh yeah i know danielle um i didn't i do not know i do not know if it is i do know of diva from fallout 4 from the uh from the dlc look at that guy coming into play tapped you're gonna get a uh burning tramissary that comes into play tap too though just so you know Oh my goodness, look at all of these tapped guys. So if I just top like a lightning bolt, I could just win. That's what you're telling me right now? Is it Dima? Oh, it is Dima. Shit. Dang it. I was thinking Diva. I'm thinking actually the friggin' uh, the Overwatch hero. Dang it! Lightning bolt. Stupid. You're not a lightning bolt at all. Yeah, Far Harbor was great. That was some good DLC. Man, where's my lightning bolt when I need it? It's in the graveyard. Oh, the Nerd Conclave is a great name. We should call our... That's what we should call... That's what we should call the, the, the subscribers. We should call them the Nerd Conclave. One, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five. So you're probably just casting Primal Command here, like you do. Going back up to 800 mana, like you do. I did a thing, Conclave Squad. <laughs> we should call ourselves House Demir. Much Sarah, listen. Listen, we all know you're just going through a phase.
Conclave Squad represent. Are you eating Mike's ice? No, I just I gotta. Now there's some ice. In, there's some ice in the bottom of this thermos. This uh, bottle. You won't think it's a phrase when I get my. I, you're a phase. A phrase. It's probably not going to be a phrase then either, unless you get a Demir phrase like "nerd conclave." That's not a. That's not a Demir phrase. That's just a regular phrase. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that fatty Bobatty. Is that rude? Yeah, it felt a little rude. Oh, biscuits. Son of a biscuit. I guess we just get in there. Inspiring Vantage, you suck. I kind of want Inspiring Vantages to be Clifftop Retreats. Clifftop just seems better than Inspiring Vantage to me. Like, you just don't want your fourth land to come into play untapped, and it's really unlikely that you don't have a Mountain or a Sacred Foundry. Oh, plateaus are good too. That's a good. That's a good good. Baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Maybe I seem a bit confused, but maybe. I've got you pegged. But I don't know what to do with those. Demir Blood Witch? There's not going to be any Blood Witches in Demir. That's a Rakdos. There. <sighs> you don't know anything about the Demir, do you? You've merely adopted the Demir. I was born into it. Molded by it. That's true. That's a true story. To Jameer, who's that? There's only nine guilds on Ravnica. That's on brand. That's good. I'm a fan. You didn't make me think you're Rakdos, though. I called you out on it. Okay. I mean, we know what we're doing here, right? Okay, so target permanent control against from white. It will be you. And you become white. So we can play this, and it's bad if we draw Faithless Looting, but it's good if we just want to play Gideon. So we're just going to play it. They're at two. Yeah, that's pretty good. They're going to have to, like, gain... They're going to have to Primal Command here, which goes to nine, which is rough. Eh, it's not ideal. But, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? That was a good Bane, except we, we could understand... <laughs> You, you baby, you dropped it to the bear. I was bound to do it. Bound it by that. Is that any better? Oh, they go to one here. All right. All right. So then they go to eight. Man, this match has been grindy. So grind. We have 60 minutes. They have seven. We've spent 10 fewer minutes than they have. So that's probably where the grindy feeling is coming from. Oh, 
Okay, windswept, windswept Sneath. We could go white, 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 pro white, kill you. That's an option. But Primal Command is always in their hand. So, oh, it's a six mana spell. Oh, it's still Primal Command. <laughs> got excited, and then I got let down, and then I got excited again, and it was an emotional roller coaster. And here we are. They're figuring out their modes. Yeah. Mm, oh, look, it's an eternal witness. Uh, I'll gain some life. I'm gonna do the thing with the life and the witnesses. Okay. Yeah, Primal Command's a real beating here. Oh, that's a good card. Well, that is a very good card. One, two, three. I think this is what we want to do, right? They can't do both next turn, right? They can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh, this is eight. So if they have a land, I guess they can go land this guy, this guy. That's pretty brutal. But maybe I've got you pegged. If the creature is red... Oh, it gains plus two, plus oh, and trample. If it's red, if not, it gains vigilance. Okay, so I guess we just go Gideon and maybe make an emblem here. Draw for the turn. Play a land. Cast a spell. Swing with everything. Opponent scoops it up. Gaining 14 life when you're at one life, not not ideal. We could also make a gentleman with Gideon. We could also just play Aurelia for next turn. They can't really do much about it. Ugh, crying out loud. I feel like we have to get some damage in, but I don't think we're going to because they're just going to block with Eternal Witness. <sighs> Unfortunately, the red, the red is not relevant, right? So it's only going to give Vigilance to a, a creature, and that doesn't really get us through any damage. I'm not a fan. Whereas Gideon can actually attack next turn. Um, Alright, you know what? I'll play Aurelia here. We can Mentor onto the, uh, the thing next turn. Good gravy. But this is... I hate this because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't pressure them at all this turn. Whereas if we... Gideon made an emblem we can attack with you. At least it forces them to get rid of this guy, but... I mean, they don't really have anything that takes advantage of it on, on board, so it's... I'm just going to say you just in case. Oh, wait, hold on. So then the turn, Dagger Creature gets plus two, plus oh, and, and plus two, plus oh, oh, gains trample if it's red. I'm not smart. The plus two, plus oh is a given. Oh, well, we're just great. We're just, that's just gravy. I, I, I wish it was red, but that's actually great. But you have to block with the Eternal Witness, right? Yep, figured. I 
I think the way this is worded is really weird. I'm like, plus two, plus oh, and gains trample if it's red. I'm just like, oh, there's a comma there. It's very subtle. There's like a lot of things happening. I was wondering why you were, yeah, because I, I thought the plus two, plus oh, and trample was only if it's red. And the vigilance is if it's white. Which is why I was like, oh, th that's why it really gets plus two, plus oh, and trample and vigilance. Because she's both of those things. So she's going to get everything anyway. All right, so you played that. Now you're gonna go five, six. You actually have seven here. No, you need you need five, you need nine. That's interesting. Five, six, seven. Yeah, you only have eight. You can't go Eternal Witness and Primal Command because we have Thalia. That's interesting. They also have four minutes left. So if we win this game, they basically can't win a third game. That costs two mana. So you have Eternal Witness and one more card. Okay. I think he might be dead here. I'm no expert. If we can draw one more land, we can actually make two creatures unblockable. And this is going to be four, five, six, seven with Mentor. Oh, it really is insane. I actually think it really is fantastic. Oh, we just won the game. All right, so they have three minutes and 38 seconds to win the next one. I'm game. I'm a fan. I can, I'm considering, like, bringing in Rest in Peace just in case, like, they, like, it's just because it's good against, like, the Eternal Witness shenanigans recursion, but I don't think it's great against it. I'm going to take out Faithless and bring in Wear Tear just because they do have uh, Courser and they have Utopia Sprawl and they're on the play. So if we're able to shoot those dudes down before they can get going. Oh, wow, this hand is gas. Keep for sure. Keep all day. One drop, two drop, three drop. This gets to bolster onto, like, Kithian, and then we get to attack. Oh, boy. It's tricky. Let's turn, 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 turn. Rocking around there, rocking around there, rocking around there. It's tricky. It's tricky. You guys know the jam. Um, I think we want to play Sacred Foundry here just so we can play Cleft Top Retreat. We can also play the... Uh, actually, we're playing Anafenza, so we 100% want to do that. Sure. Let's attack into your Scavenging Ooze and see what happens. Go very fine. We're going to have a home in Modern. Probably not. It's just too expensive. Like, I don't think you're ever going to play it over, like, something like Kalidus, which is just way more valuable. Oh, Anna Fenza doing some work here. Yeah, that's right. Go to 17. I got three minutes to win this game. That ain't happening. Corsair of Crew Fix. Brutal. That's brutal. You can still flip this guy, but then we then he just dies, right? Three, two, two, two. It still feels correct though, right? It's the only thing we can do. I'm not gonna play eight and a half tails here. Yeah. 
Yep. There's only one dude to bolster on. It's going to definitely go on Kithian. We can attack with everyone mentoring onto the Anafenza. But then they just really have good blocks here, which is not great for us. Well, non combat damage. Uh, I can, we think we just wait. We can give Shinka. Shinka gives first strike to any one of these guys. We can give him first strike. We can flip Kithian. Next turn, we just have significantly better blocks. Oh, wow. Let's go Tracker into Windswept Heath. That's good. There's no world where they don't do that. Oh, I guess there is. Okay. Seems good. I still don't think they can win in two minutes. So I think we're just going to have to survive. We can probably win in two minutes, but... Doesn't mean we will. You suck. Your stream sucks. Boy, I know it. All your Twitch viewers are garbage. Oh, boy. Ah, oh boy. Good times. Good times. And this, where's our, where'd our match go? I found it. I found it. Oh, we won the game. All right. All of our, all of our Twitch viewers are garbage. I suck and my stream sucks. So good times. Anyway, it's, it's, it's always great. It's always wonderful uh, when your opponent insults you and tells you you're bad. Uh, and then they can't beat you. So they're actually arguably worse than you. So, you know. What can you do? I am actually a fan of how this deck is looking. I'm surprised because we're 3-0 right now. I It seemed like he wasn't serious. Like, it's the kind of thing you say, like, no, nah, just kidding, big fan, or, you know, whatever. But um, it's funny because that's also very undude like So your, your screen name is basically based on the Big Lebowski, which is the most chill dude, the ch most chill movie character ever. And yet... You're just an uptight piece of shit. <laughs> so that's awkward, isn't it? Anyway. Um, currently 3-0 with this deck. I don't think there's anything I want to change right now, to be honest. Nice bed, why? I don't know what you're saying right now. That game for him was like a bummer. Yeah, it sure was. It sure was a bummer. I mean, what can you do? I can't think of anything I want to change. Like, that match went very well. My only problem is, like, I almost don't even like the Lightning Bolts just because they contradict the Thalia's. Like, if our goal is to Thalia on turn two, we're not, like, super heavy on mana. But I think Thalia is good. Hmm. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's regional source. I don't want to say yes because then I feel like I'm taking responsibility for that. But I do like I like I've been having fun with it, and I think these are strong. Uh, I think this guy is strong because it can mentor onto all your other things. Um, I think these were good additions because they just give you more variety on turn two, so you don't only have Thalia's. Faithless Looting gives you a little bit of late game goodness. I'm going to play one more and we'll see what happens. This guy's name is Blue Duck and I read it as something completely different. Alright. I will play first. Hot garbage. Do, 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 do. Well, you know, that's just your opinion. I should have totally responded like that. Wow, I feel dumb for not doing that.
It's probably just a planes here. I can't imagine a situation. None of our cards are double red. And if they're playing Inspiring Vantage, I really don't want to go too low. I'm going to attack first because they might not kill this. But if we play a Thalia, they might be tempted to use their mana to kill it. So maybe we can get two damage in here. God, I can't believe you said all your all my viewers are garbage. That's amazing. See, yep, this is what we were this is what we were concerned with. Got that free two damage in. Interesting. Not sure what to make of Inspiring Vantage Forest. That was the only part he was right, though. Oh, how dare you. That's so self-deprecating, it's comical. But he was correct. Wow, double lightning bolts. Oh, I'm going to play Reflector Mage and bounce your guy. Sure. Land. Eight and a half tails? Let's do this. Well, that's that's something. Can discard you and probably Gideon. Oh, can't do that. All right, so we're going to pass here. Hoping for a land there. No such luck. You like this or Pongify? I don't even know what... You can't just say the name of a card. I have no idea what your Pongify deck looks like. I've obviously played this more, so... Wow, Tajik in the in the humans deck? That's exciting. That's exciting. I'm excited. That's eh, not a land. So you're going to mentor onto this guy next turn? Jeez. I mean, we would definitely be greater if we didn't hit two lands and 15 cards. But I'm going to just go to the next game. Human's deck is pretty hard to deal with. I don't know how you, how you beat the, the human's deck, unfortunately. Maybe like um, Anger of the Gods in the sideboard or something, but it doesn't seem ideal. None of these cards are really suited for humans. I'm going to bring in the Lyra, just because she's very good. Kithian's probably better than East tomorrow, I would say. I would wager. I move that we change the newly formed Nerd Conclave to the garbage pile. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Oh, keep. Keep all day. One drop, two drop, three drop. The gasoline is is real. I guess I figured out how we beat the humans deck with this this goodness. I'm going to lightning bolt your guy because I never have less than 2 lightning bolts in my hand for any game. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, you did it. <laughs> Congratulations. I'll pay two mana and lightning bolt this guy too. There are 14? Good lord. Basically dead. Oh, that's interesting. That's a cute addition. We're going to play Tajik here because uh, they both get in without penalty of death. And then we got Thalia next turn. As fishery recognizes as garbage, I'd be happy to, <laughs> to accurate. I'm happy to be accurately described. Nice. Yeah, no blocks there, Chief. This has got hexproof for my Kimmy target of spell target of abilities. My opponent's control. Well, their opponent. You know. You know what I'm saying. 
Like, they have to chump block here, which is great. I don't really care about your Shauna. I'd rather just have your blockers come into play tapped, so. You're dead. You're so dead. It's like I can't even... I can't even... I can't even rationalize how dead you are. I can't communicate it with you. Nailed it. All right, so even this deck, we, we seem to be just okay about... Uh, we seem to be pretty okay against, so I'm not... Nice cards, but munch. <laughs> oh, the Magic Online experience we have are all treasures. They're all just, just straight-up gems. This hand would be great if we had more lands in it. Let's open a pack and see if that makes us feel better about our choices. A Goblin. That's a good one. And Littering. And... Izoni. Thousand eyed. How many eyes? One thousand. And then we got this Night Veil Predator. And a Crater Maker and a World F Soul Colossus. I forgot what it was called for a second there. Okay. Mulligan this hand, unfortunately. Mulligan this hand, unfortunately. Re reluctantly keep this hand in any land on top of our deck. Alright, so. Did your opponent say that? Did your opponent say what? You gotta specify. Use full, you gotta use full sentences here. Our opponent said butt munch one time and they actually had to space out the two T's in butt because they didn't want it to get censored by the client. So they said nice cards, B-U-T space T munch and it was pretty hilarious. Yes, that was a, that was an epic, that was an epic moment. Yeah, that's good. All right, well, we had a good run. The point is, this deck can definitely get draws that beat humans, which we which we did. Let's get a foundry. Man, today's been a long day. We're going on eight hours here. Woof. I also like Anafenza more than eight and a half tails because the counters are really relevant, especially with things like Tajik. Tajik? Tajik or Tajik? What do you think? Tajiki Jiki? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, that's nice. Your beard is on point, but your content is. Yeah, it's right. It's slightly in the middle. Uh, I'm not going to block. I think we're dead here. Okay. See, like, this is why I think we need... Like, the amount of times that the... I think we want... Here's what I'm... I'm going to make a change. And I, I know you're not going to like it, but it's okay. I accept it. We just, we're just dead here. We want to hit our land drops. And we don't hit them consistently like this. I think we need to add the 20th land. Make it an inspiring man. Just take out a mo one... We have three moxes is fine. You don't want multiple moxes. Moxin, whatever... This is the list I would go with. I think this is probably... Uh, I think this deck is sweet. We just went 3-1. And uh, even the last game we lost, we ended up going 1-2. And it was against humans, which is one of the more powerful archetypes in the form. Frankie Breeder's on point, but you're shit and your viewers are garbage. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always think, too. I didn't want to tell you guys, but... Anyway. Anyway. What? Don't do... No, it's too late. We took out one mox. We, I think you need to be... You need to be 20 lands. I just, you have to hit your land drops. If you get stuck, we get stuck on lands too frequently. It just has to be there. But you don't want to have like 20 million lands. I'm panicking. If you want, add, keep the Mox Amber and take out one Faithless Looting. I think this is cute, but it's not, you never want to take your turn off to do this. And you're so dense. Your, your mana, your resource requirements are so dense in the early turns. You want one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop, basically. So you don't actually have time to take time off. Uh, to Faithless Looting, and all of your spells are very strong, so. Um, yeah, I think this is the good, though. I think I like this deck. Hopefully, you got some good insight out of this, because I think this is I think this is a lot better than what was presented originally, and um, I, I actually liked it. I had a good time. I didn't, I was not expecting a lot from this deck when we first started playing it, and um, I think the improvements are good. Anafenza is a great improvement. I like diversifying your two drops. I also like the Alesha because if you just happen to trigger it, you can get back a free Anafenza or a free Thalia attacking. 
Um, Aurelia is one of the stronger four drops you can get, especially when you're pumping any of your other guys. Gideon, a Johnny we didn't get to play, but I still think it's very good. If you're able to return any of these for free, uh, or put counters on like any of the mentor guys to mentor on your earlier guys, super good. So I think I think I actually like Anafenza over eight and a half tails. I would probably put a third Anafenza over one of the eight and a half tails. Eight and a half tails is kind of narrow and very mana intensive, but the ability is cool. Um, whereas like you don't want to draw a million Anafenzas or you know whatever, but Anafenza is good again because of the bolster. So if you go two drop Anafenza, if you go East tomorrow into Anafenza into Tajik, you can actually bolster onto the Tajik because they all have equal toughness. And that's all that uh, Anafenza cares about. The lowest toughness, or you choose, basically. So, um, definitely, I think that's actually totally fine. Because putting Tajik into play as a 4-3, <laughs> pretty good. We haven't been able to, we haven't, we weren't able to do it, but pretty good. Either way, this deck looks awesome now. And I'm a fan. And hopefully, you are as well. And also, the Shinka, there's no reason not to have just a one, just a Shinka as a one of, which is just gives first strike to any legendary creature. Because it's not going to penalize you, really. Um, you already have a ton of non-basics that they could target if they were like non, you know, destroy a non-basic land. So it's not really gonna, not really gonna hurt you. But yeah, hopefully you do well. Hopefully you try this out and you're able to get the cards. And uh, if you do play it at regionals, wish you the best of luck. If you guys want to get your own decks critique, check out my Patreon pro profile, Patreon page, or my Twitch profile. Links are in the description below. You can also check meundies.com out slash Frank Lepore, 15% off, and you get free ret free returns and free shipping. It's been a long stream. I'm going to go get some food. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.